Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this video is going to be a little bit more of a chit chat and just talking to you guys about specifically context. Um, I posted a video on Sunday on, it's with like the trendy song of like, um, Go Little Rockstar. Here's a clip of the TikTok video right here. But basically with um, with this video, it kind of you know took off and a lot of people commented, uh, of course, like congratulations, but also a lot of people had questions about, you know, what is, what did I study? What is a major that I am um, about to graduate with? What roles can you get with this major? Some people were just asking me about like, you know, should I switch majors or anything like that? So I did want to like take a few questions and to kind of do like a Q&A with this video um, and talk about this because I think it would help people. This can at least help one person. That would be great. First question is what is CIS or MIS? So CIS is Computer Information Systems and MIS is Management Information Systems. And by talking to other people that go to different universities um, that have the MIS degree, it's basically the same thing. So it's within the business school and it's a mixture of technology and business together. So I would say that it has a mixture of computer science fundamentals as well as business fundamentals. Um, the overlay or like the fundamentals that you're going to learn is like database management, how to run IT projects. Um, how to understand different um, business processes and make them innovative, leaner. Um, these are like basically the, the baseline of everything. But for my university, which I go to Georgia State University, we had different concentrations within this major. So some of those concentrations are application development, which I would say is a lot more coding focused. So if you are looking for a position or a role to be like a software engineer outside of college or something that's a little bit more technical, this is the concentration to pick. Next would be um, cybersecurity. So obviously if you're interested in cybersecurity and want a career in that, you can pick that concentration. Next is data analytics. So obviously if you want a, a role like as a data scientist or anything that has to do with uh, data analytics, which is, is a little bit more um, math based. That I would say um, this would be the concentration to pick and then finally process innovation so process innovation is the one I chose and a lot of people become actually analysts or consultants at the end um, you learn about innovative business processes um, Six Sigma um, scrum these type of um, concepts within technology and business the next question that I got a lot is what can you do with this major and this question is hard to answer and I would say that and before I even get started I want to clarify that just because you ma you majored in something doesn't mean that that's how your career is going to go and I want you to take this with a grain of salt because obviously that you choose your major in hopes to get a career in that field well most of us but there's a study found by the Federal Reserve Bank of New York which found that 27% of college graduates work in the field that is related into their major. So I say this because um, obviously I have friends that would study a specific thing and they're not actually doing um, anything that has to be related to that specific major. But um, again, there's like circumstances like if you're a bio major, most likely you're going to do something in medicine. But uh, of course, just, this is not always the case. So with computer information systems, I would say it's kind of a broad field. Um, I have friends who are in tech sales. I have friends who are in marketing. I have friends who are actually software engineers and they all graduated with computer information systems. So it really depends on what role you want outside of um, college and just try to uh, tailor your experiences like internship. If your college offers it, specific concentrations like I said before um, that gears towards that the the ideal role that you like to go into one thing that I recommend is that to look at your university curriculum so if you go to your uh, school's website and for example if I go and google computer information systems within Georgia State you can see actually the curriculum that you'll be taking if you choose that major this helped me a lot in trying to determine what skills and experiences that um, 
my major would provide for me and what would I learn to be able to apply to a role outside of um, college and this is how I actually picked my concentration within computer information systems. I really enjoyed the process of innovation track and like the different things that I would be learning within this track. Next question that I got a lot is like should I learn to code more and again this question is depends. So again I want to emphasize that it really just depends on what you want to do at the end of the day. If you want to be a software engineer, the answer to that is easy, it's yes. So, and there's an exception to this. So, um, I remember I saw that somebody asked me if I should get a CS minor, so like computer science minor. And it really depends, like, if you think that's going to help you become a software engineer, which obviously it will be because it will give you the fundamentals of coding, but like, you can also get certifications, you can also... Um, work on small projects by yourself and, and learn by yourself on how to do this but I know plenty of people who um, were a computer information systems major applied to a software engineering job and they knew the technicality they knew how to code already um, and they passed as long as you know that you can pass those um, technical interviews and you can perform the work then you're fine you don't have to get a CS minor you don't have to um, you don't have to do like extra in terms of that, but it, it's really on just dependent on what you want to do. But me personally, the role that I'm going into as a full time employee um, is not it's not really technical, honestly. The the most technical that I would go into is that um, I would use SQL for data, and that's that's really it. Uh, mostly, most of my work is within Excel, making for, um, dashboards and frameworks um, for my team. But that's really it, and I'm happy with that. Like I'm, I, I'm not too technical, and I'm not really too interested in it. Uh, like if if it's needed for my team to for me to learn, I'm happy to do so. But it's not a, a large desire on my part. So it really depends on what you want to do at the end of the day. Another question that I got is when should I start applying to internships? And this is an easy, flat-out answer: is now. So I say now because. It's going to give you a leg up and a much easier experience once you come to your third year or your fourth year and you're about to graduate and you need that like good internship before you graduate. Um, I have a friend who he was a finance major and actually started doing internships before he even got to college, which I think is crazy. But he interned, um, well, he asked to, you know, like a local accounting law firm not law firm, accounting firm, um, if he could be an intern for free. Um, and he got that experience and was able to easily get his next internship and the next internship. I think he like got like five internships uh, before he even graduated, but he had a really like easy time, you know, getting those interviews uh, when he's, he was about to graduate. So just get that experience whenever you can don't recommend like getting a non-paying internship but if it's needed go ahead and do it like it just be your first internship and you can learn something out of it and just have an easier time um, for the rest of your college career uh, another question that I got a lot was I'm a different major should I make the career switch and this is a hard question to answer just because it really depends on you so I would say that let's say you are a fourth year bio major and you're thinking about making the switch. <sighs> That's four years and like it's just depending if you have scholarship money, if you have parents that have money and like can pay for it. Like I don't recommend getting to debt and for school and like I know that for example if you like I said before, if you're a fourth year bio student, just graduate and get into like a two year graduate program within something in like masters in cybersecurity or whatever whatever field um, that you're interested in. Just because like if you're gonna go to school, might as well just get a masters instead of go going back and get a bachelor's. Just so just because you're so like far into it, might as well just get that degree that degree and get it over with. Another thing is that like. I've heard success stories about people like getting their undergraduate degree in like a medical field or like psychology or marketing or whatever and they wanted to be software engineers and they, they basically taught themselves how to code 
and got like certificates on the side you don't have to go back to school to do that you can find other routes and other opportunities to be able to get you to that career switch so I wouldn't say that um, you have to but yeah it's just on, on your circumstances and also I don't want you to switch your major just because you think everybody else is I feel like Especially like on social media, I see TikTok on Inst and Instagram, like everyone is like, oh, tech is the way, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, I mean, they have, a, they have a point, but at the same time, like we still need our doctors, we still need our nurses, we still need um, teachers, we still need our lawyers, we still need all of this. And like, if you're passionate about that, please do it. Like, please do it. Because at the end of the day, if you're not passionate about what you're trying to pursue, like for what? You know because you're gonna spend a lot of your time at work and if you're miserable and you're not liking what you're doing then it's not worth it so I would say just make the career switch if you're not passionate about what you're currently doing and it and then it will be worth it I think that would be my my advice another question that I got is that does your GPA matter especially being early on in your career and like internships and such and I would say it matters slightly especially if you don't have any experience so I remember that with my first internship they did look at my GPA um, but just because I didn't have too much experience and you can obviously mask this if you get that experience on that paper so again I want to emphasize that experience can be can come from different routes so this can be from opportunities within organizations it could be from the project that you did in XYZ class it can be opportunities that you do within your community um, anything that you can tie in skills that are appropriate with that role will help you um, and you can also create your own experiences like let's say that you have your own LLC or you have an, your own YouTube channel like these different things that you can create on your own, you, it's value and it's experience that you can bring to that company in that specific role. So I have a friend who she has her own LLC and was able to tie in her experiences and how she created her own LLC um, to be able to bring those experiences and skills to that company and to that internship. So again, Yes, your GPA matters, but at the end of the day, like if you have experiences, it's a lot more valuable than what your, the number that calculates your grades is. And then once you get your first internship and then after that, it really starts to like diminish of like how important it is. And like once you get your full time, it doesn't matter. Like C's get degrees and that's, that's point blank. Um, but honestly, like, yeah, it's very minimal as long as you have other experiences to make yourself more valuable to that company or to that role so yeah those are a few of the questions that i got and i know there's plenty more but please comment down below if there's a specific question that you want to get answered or a specific topic that you want me to create a video about and i'm happy to do so i think specifically with this type of content and me talking about this it can at least help one person and that's plenty for me um can be really hard being first gen and navigating this college especially within business and technology and like corporate environment so i hope this helps you guys and i'll catch you in the next one all right